Hello everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. I'll be providing the URL for the playlist in the video description. Please do watch. Now, in this video, we are going to see about iteration path. Currently, I'm in backlog. So either in boards or work item, wherever you are there, just click on any work item and here you will find iteration. So what is an iteration? Iteration path is also referred as sprints. A sprint is a time boxed interval, which means if you are assigning a work to the sprint, that work have to be completed in the particular time. First, you need to define the iteration path at the project level. Then for each team, you need to configure like these are the iteration path I want to use. This I'm going to show in this video. Tips and important points will be shared at the end of the video. Don't skip the final part of my video. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video and better quality. Now, let me close this. In our earlier video, we have covered about parents, progress, everything we have covered. And we have seen about mapping panel as well. Now, here I have enabled planning panel and you couldn't find any sprint. Sprint or iteration path, both are same. And if you switch to sprint tab as well, and under all sprint, only one is there. If you, even if you click on it, you can't find anything. So why it is not showing up? You will know in a while. So first of all, let's directly go to project setting and project configuration. So under sales, there are three iteration without any start date or end date. So let me delete this. So how we are going to strategize our iteration? We will be creating four hierarchy, beta one, beta two, release one, release two, and it will keep on going like release three, release four and all. So now first let's create a hierarchy. Now to do it, just select sales and click on new child. Let me name it as beta one. I'm not going to provide any start date, end date, because this is just for hierarchy. And let me click on sales again, and I'll be creating four more childs. And now I'm going to add sprint under beta one. So just select beta one and click on new child. And here we can select the date from this calendar. This is the starting date of it. And so each sprint is going to have 14 days. And let me click on beta one again. Let me create other sprints as well. The sprint one ends on 11 and sprint two will be starting from the next day. And it will automatically calculate the 14 days. So now I have added three iteration under beta one with the start date and ending date. And similarly for beta two as well, three iterations are there. And if you go to release one, there are many iteration. It can vary. So you can plan according to your wish. And I have set the date as well for few of them. I didn't just to save some time. So you can even just create iteration first and then you can set date later as well. And now if you go to backlogs, let me select our team dev team is our team and still here you couldn't see any sprint right and similarly if you go to sprint as well you can't see a sprint for dev team right so why so because we just added the configuration under project configuration which is common across the project but we didn't add this configuration to our team so let me go to our team configuration and just select the team from this drop down and go to iteration. See, there is no iteration selected for this particular team. So that is the reason you couldn't see anything over there. Just click on iteration and we need to select the iterations from here. You can't simply select it because this doesn't have any start date or end date. Only iteration one, two, three, these are having start date and end date. So let me select this, save and close. And let me fast forward this content. So now I have added few iterations. Now, if you go back to backlogs under dev team, under planning panel. So just enable this planning panel and you could see this option. And similarly, if you go to sprints and you could find dev team here. And if you see here, you could find the number of days remaining for this particular sprint. And if you just click on this drop down, we are currently 
based upon the current date is showing this is the current sprint and we, it is listing out the future sprints as well but here if you see the sprint name is causing some confusion right this belongs to beta 1 this belongs to beta 2 but here everything is confusing right it is not clear so now let's go to project setting again and let's rename them So now we have renamed everything and now if you go to sprints back again it is clear now so in next video we will see about how we will be planning the sprint and how we do capacity planning and all now let's talk about tips and important points in a project you can create up to 10,000 iteration path and you can assign a maximum of 300 iteration path to your single team as you see in the video in the team configuration if you haven't selected the iteration path the particular iteration path it won't be showing up in both backlog and sprint boards if you are adding new items in the sprint board let's say for example if you are adding a task from the sprint board it will automatically assign the particular iteration to the particular work item we have lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i am uploading new videos most importantly, Super Thanks is now enabled on our channel. If you wish to contribute, I would really appreciate it. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected and I will be providing the URL for WhatsApp and Telegram link in the video description. Please do join. Thank you. Bye-bye.